Hi, in this video, I will introduce you to AutoCAD and this video series are intended for beginners who doesn't have any AutoCAD experience. So first, I will explain the parts. We have the application button here. If you click the logo, you have the new, open, save, save as, import and export. You can also print your AutoCAD drawings here. So we have title bar. Our title is drawing number one. So this will be the file name. We have the quick access bar where you can save and undo and redo and print also your AutoCAD file. Okay. So we have the file tab here. This is the file tab. We can open multiple drawings. And you can see in the file tab uh, what are the AutoCAD drawings that are open. So I will close this. And also we have the ribbon tab from line until this base so this is the ribbon tab under the ribbon tab we have the home insert annotate parametric view manage and others but most of the time we are in home tab because all of the command are located here almost all of the command are located here we are we are also using the annotate tab when we have to to make dimension of your drawings okay so it's only two tabs that is uh, completely useful for, for beginners. Home tab and Ante tab. We also have the command line here. So the AutoCAD will try to communicate with you. If you have one command, the AutoCAD will ask you to sp specify the first point. I will give an example. Okay, so I will make line. I will click here. When I click here, so the AutoCAD will ask you to specify the first point. Okay. So you have to keep an eye on this command line because AutoCAD will ask a lot of questions using this command line. So click here, specify the next point. So something like that. So if you want to move this, just press these buttons, press and then place it wherever you want. So I, I will place it here. And lastly, we have the drawing area here. In other terms, this would be the canvas. This is where you draw all of your design. Here in this drawing area so I want you to have a mouse that looks like this this mouse has a scroll wheel because if you want to zoom in you have to scroll down okay so I will scroll down and then it will zoom in if you want to zoom out you have to scroll up okay so that's the use of the scroll wheel in AutoCAD and also if you want to move I will just press the scroll wheel if you press you will see there will be a hand in AutoCAD and then you can uh, move the canvas from left to right, up or down. So it is necessary to have a mouse that has a scroll B. Okay. I'll just delete this one. You can delete by using the E for the erase command or you can just press the delete key in your keyboard. I will delete. And also, before you have your first design, I want you to set the units because some of you are located in United States of America, some of you are located in European countries. So we, there's the different units in every, in every country. So type units, UN for units, enter. And here you can choose from inches for English units and meters for metric units. So for me personally, I want it to be in meters because I'm located here in, in uh, Southeast Asia. So two decimal places. So you can use architectural, but uh, I want to use it with decimal places. Two decimal places for the angle, I want it to be degree, decimal degree and zero decimal place. So, so you can, it's, it's up to you. No? It's up to you if you want to change this one. And then I will click OK. The first command that I want you to learn is the line command. Okay, so it is advisable for beginners to familiarize with the shortcut key of the command. So instead of clicking here, just type L for the shortcut key of the line. So I will type L, enter, and then just look at this. Specify the first point on the screen. So I will click anywhere on the screen. That will be my first point. Click. And then specify the second point. According to AutoCAD, he's asking you to specify the second point. 
And so I will click here and this will be my second point. If you want to end the line, I don't want this line, just press the escape key in your keyboard. So I will press escape and then you have a line. Okay, so I will make line, enter. So uh, this will be my first point. If you want to have a line with the specific dimension and specific angle with the respect to x-axis, I want you to look at this, okay? So, this one, this is the line that I did earlier. No? So, I will make line here. You see the blue selected value? Okay, so it is increasing no? here, this one. The 15.48, you can make a change on this one. Okay, so this 15.48 meaning, uh, this would be the dimension of our line. So, this, this 15.48 will start from here until this point that's the length of our line this 36 degree that is the angle of our line from here until this x-axis okay so if you want to switch from inputting the dimension here the length of our line just press the tab and then you can edit this angle so i will give an example i will type l enter so i will click here this will be my first point click here and then i will type 10 units okay so if i want it to be 10 un 10 units i will press tab and then i can change now the angle so from 37 i want it to be 45 degree i will type 45 and 10 so this will be your 10 meters and 45 degree with respect to x axis line so i will make line again from here to here just to measure the dimension or the angle of this line so here this must be 45 degree okay. so i will delete now if you want to make a line that is straight with respect to the x-axis and straight with respect to the y-axis i want you to press the f8 this one or just press this one or two okay so i will make line enter here the ortho is turned off if i press the f8 this icon will be highlighted meaning it is activated so i will press f8 so our line is now a straight line with respect to the x-axis if you want to go up our line is now straight with respect to the y-axis i will press the f8 again or i will just click this icon click and then the ortho will turn off so i will press again Turn on and turn off. Okay, so I will make line. Here. Okay. So in AutoCAD, we have two selections. From left to right. This is the left to right, the blue selection, and then from right to left, this one. Okay, so from left to right, I will just click, I will click. You will be having the blue selection tool, and then I will click here. So how many were selected? Two lines were selected. In the green selection, I will click from right to left and then click how many were selected one two three four five the difference is this in blue selection command our line should be inside the selection tool okay so this line and this line were selected because the two lines were completely inside the box okay so this line is not selected because some part of it is outside the box okay so if you use the green selection tool this line and this line were selected although this line is outside the box some part of it is outside the box as long as this particular line touches the green box it will automatically be selected so this one is also selected because some part of it is inside the box so i will give an example here so i will use the blue selection here so i will click from left to right 
these two lines will not be selected because these two lines is outside the box. Okay, so, but if I use this, these two lines is inside the box, so it will be selected. If I use the green selection tool, I will click from right to left. Okay, so these two lines touches the box. So automatically, it will be selected. That's the difference between the blue selection and the green selection. So the next command is polyline. So it's either you click here or type PL to pull up the polyline command. So I will enter and then specify the first point. So I will click here, here. Okay, so the difference between the polyline and the line. In polyline, when you click this part, this will be one drawing entity. Okay, so, so if you delete, it will delete all. Okay, so in line, this will be separate drawing entities. So these are separate lines. In polyline, this is one polyline. So if you delete this part, only this line will be deleted because this is line. In polyline, if you delete, all of this line will be deleted. Also in polyline, there are some other subcommands. No? So I will type PL, enter, and then specify the first point. So my first point will be here. Click. And then as you can see here, we have the arc, half width, length, and do and win. So if you use the arc, so you can click anywhere on the screen and then you will be having an arc. Okay, so this will be an arc polyline. So I will use the polyline again, enter. Click the first point, so I will click here, and then we have the half width. Okay, so for the half width, I will click. So AutoCAD will ask you to specify starting half width. So the length will be, I will choose one, enter, and then AutoCAD will ask me for the ending half width. I want it to be three, enter. So here, and then I will escape. So here, meaning our length here. This will be the one unit because we are dealing with the half width. So this is half of the total width of this line. So this is one. So the total width will be two meters for this one. And then for this one, we input three. So meaning from this end point until the midpoint, the, the measurement will be three units because that's the half of our total width. For the total width, it will be six units. So I will type polyline, enter. So I will click the starting point here, click. And then the next one is the length. So if I choose the length, and then you input, let's say, 5 units of length, and then you enter. So this will be 5 units, the length of our polyline here. So I will type polyline again, enter. So click the starting point here. And then for the width, that will be the thickness of our polyline. So I will click the width, and then I will input 0 0.5, enter, and then 0 0.5 for the ending width. So enter. Okay, so meaning if I make a line with a specific length, escape, so the width or the thickness of our polyline will be 0 0.5. So I will make line, let's measure this one. It's, it's saying 0 0.5. So you can set the thickness of your polyline using the sub command. Okay. PL. Click. Here are the sub commands. Okay. So I will change the width to zero. Enter and then zero. Okay. So this will be our polyline. So with zero thickness. Okay. So let let's go back to the previous example. Let's say I want to delete this part. Only this specific part of the line. I want to delete this one. Okay, so if you have polyline, if you want to delete this one, and then you press the delete key in your keyboard, it will delete all of the line. So if you want to delete this part only, this part of the line only, and then you have a polyline, so I want you to use the explode command or X for the shortcut key. So enter, and then you select the polyline, see? Select the object to explode. So select the polyline, enter, and then when you enter, 
our previous polyline will be converted into separate lines. Okay, so before this is a polyline, one drawing entity, now it, it is separate drawing entity. If you want to delete this, you select and then delete. Okay, and then this one is two drawing entities. If you want to join this one and if you want to make it one polyline, I want you to use the command join J for join command. So enter and then according to AutoCAD, select source object or multiple objects to join at once. So I will select the two lines, click and then enter. So these two lines will now be converted into one polyline. If I will select, so this is now one polyline. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. Now. So polyline and line. So these three are separate drawing entity. If you want to join, type J, enter, and then select the three lines. Enter. So this will now be converted into one polyline. Okay. So the next command that I want you to learn is the circle command. Okay, so the shortcut key for circle is C. So type C, enter, and then specify the center point of the circle. Okay, so my center point should be here. I will click here, enter, and then the AutoCAD will ask you for the radius. Okay, so specify the radius of the circle. So I will type 4 for the radius, enter. So we have a circle with 4 meters radius. However, if you want to input the diameter, you don't have the radius but you have the diameter you can use also the diameter command so type c for circle enter specify the center point of the circle so i will click here for the center point and then you have the diameter so just click this one click the diameter here because the autocad is asking you specify the radius but you don't have the radius however you have the diameter so just click here Click this diameter, click, and then the AutoCAD will ask you for the diameter. Okay, so specify the diameter of the circle. So I will type 8 for the diameter. Okay, so this one, the radius is 4 meters. Here the diameter is 8 meters. So you can make a circle using the diameter or radius value. So this will be the first part of the video. The other commands. I will explain it to you on the succeeding videos. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching and have a great day.